So today we are going to do some facial motion capture using the LiveLink plugin in Unreal Engine 5.2. We are going to use meta human characters as well. But first, this video is sponsored by Blink Studios. They make production ready art assets for Unity and Unreal Engine. They just launched their RPG Essentials Humble Bundle. It contains thousands of art assets, 3D characters, NPCs, UI elements, props, and a lot more. You can get all of this just for $30. Claim the deal before 10th of January. Check them out. I'll leave all the links down in the description. And thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Let's start with the video. So first we need to go to plugins and enable the live link plugin. So enable both of these plugins. After that, I'm going to add a meta human character. So go to Quixel bridge. In bridge, go to the meta human section and here you can choose any character that you like. So I'm going to choose this one. If you want to edit this character, you can start meta human creator and edit it there. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. Download it on the highest quality and add it in your project. So once you import this, you can find the meta human character in the meta humans folder and all the meta humans import as blueprints. So this is really cool. So this is the meta human character blueprint. Just add it in the level. So after that, let's go to the second part of the video, which is setting up live link. So you can get the official live link app on the app store. Tap on the top left and go to the settings. And here we need to configure some settings. So select live link, then go to the subject name. So currently my subject name is set to iPhone. This is the name that's going to appear in Unreal Engine. So name this appropriately. So if you go under the targets, we need to add our IP address. So go back to your computer and open up command prompt. Here you can type IP config. That's going to give you all the IP configurations and copy the IP address and paste this in the live link app. So now the live link application is going to stream motion capture data to your computer to the Unreal Engine instance that's open. If you did this properly, Unreal Engine should be able to detect uh, the motion capture data, the data stream that's coming through. So your iPhone should show up right here. You can also enable uh, the head rotation. Now I'm going to enable the simulation mode. This also works in the gameplay mode. Once in simulation mode, you can open live link again. And as you can see, live link is streaming data in real time. This works really well. I mean, I'm surprised how well this works. If this is not working, you can double check one more thing. You can go to the common folder. You can go to face, open this animation blueprint and make sure that all the nodes are set up properly. Unreal Engine will do this by default. So you don't need to set these up. But again, make sure that you have all of this properly set up on the right hand side. Make sure that your live link subject is showing up. So we just tested it out. Now let's record the animation for cinematics or for gameplay purposes. So to record this, we are going to create a level sequence. And I'm going to extend my timeline range. So now to record our motion capture, we have to add this character blueprint in the sequence. Once you do that, you will see some animation windows pop up. So this is new in Unreal Engine 5. Close all of those and go back in the sequencer. Now in the sequencer, we are only going to animate the face. We are going to delete all these things except the face. Now the way you record this is you select the parent blueprint. And you press the record button, but this will not work in the editor mode. You need to go in the simulate mode for that. So go in the simulation mode, check if everything is working properly. And once you're ready to record, you can press the record button that is going to basically record all the live motion capture data and add all the keyframes for you. Once you are done recording, you can press the stop button to finalize your recording. 
So now we have baked the animation data and if you play this, you can see that our animation has been recorded. So now you can basically add a cinematic camera, record some vocal performances and like make a cinematic cutscene or something. So this is really cool. It is really surprising how well this works. So I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And that's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.